In this video, we have the integral of sine x, natural log of cosine of x, to evaluate. If you want to give this a try, go ahead and pause the video, and I'll be right back. Okay, in this problem, I'm going to use an equation by parts, just a standard format. I'm going to let u equal to ln of cosine of x, then du equal to the derivative of ln of, ln of cosine of x, which would be over the cosine of x. And in the numerator, I'll have the derivative of cosine of x will be minus sine of x. And then dv will equal to sine of x. So integrating this, left side, I get p, and then the integral of sine of x with respect to x be a dx here, give me minus cosine of x. And I got a dx here. So using the formula, standard format, not the previous form, but the di method, it's going to be u times v is the first part of the answer. So u times v. I put the minus cosine first, so minus cosine of x, and then ln of cosine of x. And then it's minus the integral of, this would be v, which is right here, minus cosine. This would be minus cosine of x and then du, which would be this right here. It would be minus sine of x here. Or for cosine of x, then I've got a dx here. I'll move it over here a little bit. And minus cosine of x then again, just rewriting the uh, first part again. ln of cosine of x. So I got a negative here, a negative here, those are going to cancel here. Let me just do this, then this will cancel. Go to a positive, so this will be positive. So I've got this negative over here then. And then this cosine here and this cosine here will cancel. So all I've got here then is the integral of minus sine of x dx. That minus the integral of, so minus sine of x dx, so the integral of minus sine of x would have to be uh, cosine of x. Because the derivative of cosine would give me the minus sine. And then I've got the constant of integration. So this is the final answer here. Minus cosine of x times ln of cosine of x plus cosine of x plus the constant of integration. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.